What's going on guys, it's Mario here and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be doing a DIY video. Um, you could tell by the title what it's gonna be about. I'm gonna walk you guys through the steps of doing all of this and yeah, stay tuned. So this is my 2800 Civic EX and this is what we're gonna be installing the audio into. Okay, before the video starts, let's give you a quick walk around of the car. kind of dirty right now but we'll be giving it a wash as I said before it's a 2800 Civic EX it's basically a SI with a 1.8 motor in it it has a sunroof it has the calipers in the rear but most importantly, it's five speed. That being said, I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna be actually doing. So here we have our wiring kit and in this box we have our line converter. Okay, so I'm gonna open up the boxes, show you guys what we're working with. Okay, so all the necessary stuff that we need is in this bag right here. Okay, so we got zero gauge wires, RCA wires, and also the wires that we need to run to the speakers. We also have our ground wire and some protective wiring. Here we have the fuse, 250 amp fuse, and all the components that we need. And in this box, we have our scotch amplifier, add-on adapter. Also another name for just a line converter. Okay, so this is the line converter that we're gonna be using. It also comes with a base control knob. We also have our ground wire, zero gauge wire, power wire, wires for the speaker, and RCA wires, and a remote control wire. So we basically have everything we need to wire the subs in. Later in the video, I'm gonna show you what kind of subs we're gonna be using and what kind of amplifier we're gonna be using. So, Let's get this video started. So the first thing we gotta do is find somewhere that I could run the power wire all throughout the car. So I'm gonna do that right now, try to find somewhere to put the wires and then we can get it started. Okay, so for my other Honda Civic, this is where I ran the wire. I ran it through the side of the steering wheel and um, I think that's a good spot to run this one. So I'm gonna try to get it through there and keep you guys updated. Okay, so we got the wire through the steering wheel and got it all the way out to the front. So now all we have to do is Cover that up, make sure the wire is run away from the steering rack and bring it all the way around to here. Underneath these pillars. Underneath the back pillars. Underneath the seat and to the trunk. Let's start ripping stuff apart. All right guys, so I'm gonna put you on a time lapse and I'll get back to you guys in a second.
quick update. I got the power wire and the remote wire ran all the way to the back, took all the panels off and got it through the back of the seat all the way to the back right there. Right now we're trying to find somewhere to ground, ground the grounds and um, then hook everything up. So I'm gonna find somewhere to put the ground wire and then I'm gonna get back to you guys. Okay, so I found somewhere to ground the grounds and that will be on the back seat. It's kind of sturdy. Hopefully it's enough for the subs. All I gotta do is cover it like that and it's out of sight. So the power in the ground is ran. All I need to do right now is hook it up to the battery. So I already have the wires plus. Focus, there we go. So the wires are spliced. All I have to do is put it in the fuse. Fuse right here. And connect it up. So let's jump right into it. So the way how we crimp the wires, you just put this crimp over it. Then we're gonna use this thingy right here. We're gonna use this thingy right here. Crush it down and then use the hammers and knock the shit out of it. All right guys, quick update. Um, I got all the wires ran to the amp and uh, we ran into a problem. I cannot find a stock amplifier. No matter how much I look, I can't find anything online that's telling me where the stock amplifier is so i'm gonna try to figure it out and get back to you guys all right guys so we didn't resolve the problem i'm gonna get back to you guys tomorrow all right guys so it's a few days later and finally we got everything working right um i got the amp hooked up and i got the subwoofers hooked up we didn't go through the stock amplifier we just cut um, some of the speaker wires and then put the line converted there. I'm gonna show you guys right now. Okay, as you can see, the amp is on. Do you see that green light? The line converter is actually tucked behind this panel right here. And um, it's hooked up. I'm gonna show you guys. You see the line converter right there it's hooked up to the speaker wires i had somebody do it for me because i couldn't really figure it out so for anybody that wants to do this you don't have to go through the stock amp you could actually just splice the speaker wires and hook it up so that's where i have it tucked i got the rca wires and the base control wire hooked up also so i could turn the base up and turn the base down whenever i want let me show you guys what kind of subwoofer i'm running so i'm running two 12 inch kicker cvrs otherwise known as comp and these mother bang I love them actually. I've run them in every single car that I've had. So for the base. This is the knob that I use right here to turn it up or turn it down. It's very convenient. And for the remote wire, I ran it to a fuse. Run it to a fuse right there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. All the wires for the subs is ran and the sub is working perfectly. I couldn't be more happy with how it turned out. I hope this video helped any one of you guys that's looking forward to putting a sub in your car. And yeah, in that case, guys, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.